how to back up the modem and EFS partition on any Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco device. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can back up the modem and EFS partitions on any Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco device. Now, why do you want to back these up? You may want to back these up if you're messing around with custom ROMs and playing with custom ROMs. Why? That is because in some cases on the Redmi K20 Pro, people are losing their Wi-Fi and their radio antennas, which is that you have a SIM inserted, but there is no signal. So that is a situation which is happening. And of course, I would like to thank everybody over at the K20 Pro Oxygen OS testing group for letting me know about this. And I think it is all but obvious that I do let my viewers know about it. So the first question which I will get is, do I need to be on MIUI? No, you do not need to be on MIUI as long as you have working Wi-Fi and your SIM cards are working. You can do this process on any custom ROM as well. What are the prerequisite? You do need to be rooted using Magisk and need to have Magisk Manager installed. Can you do this without root? You can do it in a custom recovery using TWRP and use the terminal emulator, but I just prefer to use it within the OS itself. Other than that, if you have a locked bootloader, then you need not worry about anything because you're not messing around with custom ROMs. Now, all the files, all the applications which we are using in this video are linked in the description of the video. For starters, you need a file manager application which will let you unzip or unarchive files. I am using FX file manager. You can use any file manager which you want to. So I will go into the download folder and herein I should have a file called backup underscore restore underscore modem dot zip again this is an archive file so press and hold then three dot menu on the top right and say open with on the next screen select archive extractor and here and you will see we have these files so just three dot menu on the top right one more time and say extract here so what this has done has extracted the zip file to a folder and if I go inside this folder you will see I have backup.sh and I also have restore.sh ignore the underscore mac os x folder that is because I created this archive on a mac os machine next up note down the path where it is so it is in the SD card download backup underscore restore underscore modem so tap on the home button next up make sure that magisk is not being held in the background so magisk press and hold on the icon go into application info and if you go into battery saver you will see it is set as miui battery saver and this causes major issues because you do not get the super user request prompt so set it to no restrictions and once that is done go ahead and reboot your device now of course if you are running a custom rom which is based on aosp i don't think so you should have the issue of aosp based rom killing apps or preventing the super user request pop-up so we are back into miui let us open fx file manager one more time going to main storage and as you can see i do not have any image files over here next up open the terminal emulator application it is going to ask you access for storage make sure the toggle is enabled click on continue here in select ok and wait for the prompt to appear sometime it does take a few minutes for the prompt to appear so we do have the prompt first command is su which is to give us super user access and then tap on the enter key here it is super user request grant now of course all the commands are linked in the description of the video as well next up let us execute pwd which should give us our present working directory so we are in the root now we need to navigate to the folder where we have the backup file so here it is i have entered the command cd space slash sd card slash download slash backup underscore restore underscore modem of course linux case sensitive capital d in the download press the enter key as you can see the path has now changed if i do a ls now i should get a list of all the files in here so as you can see we have backup dot sh and we also have restore dot sh for now we are only concerned with the backup file so first command we need to do is we are going to make this file executable so chmod space plus x and the 
name of the files. So there it is chmod space plus x space name of the file backup.sh press the enter key. Once that is done all you need to do is sh space and name of the file which is your backup.sh sh space backup.sh press the enter key bam there it is records copied go to the home screen fx file manager here it is all the files which we have backed up so fsg modem st1 modem st2 these are your modem files persist is your persist partition yes we did back up the persist as well just in case and that's it we have created a backup now in case you want to restore it again make sure the files are over here and go ahead and repeat this process just use the file which is restore.sh and you should be good to go do note i think these are image files so you should be good to flash them in fast boot as well in case you want to again do not take my word for it but i do recommend that you keep these backups on the cloud and on a secure storage as well so there it is peeps that is how you back up the modem and the persist partition on any xiaomi redmi or poco device and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you